Well, welcome back to the 700 Club. Did you know that nearly 25 million Americans suffer from diabetes and another 50 million are at risk? But here's the good news. The good news is that you don't have to be one of them. If you're always tired, hungry, and unable to lose weight, you may have high blood sugar or prediabetes. Marley Clark is an editor at Prevention Magazine. She says food is not the problem with blood sugar. It's the solution. With a diabetes detour, you'll keep your blood sugar level, fight dangerous belly fat, and say hello to a thinner, healthier you. Please welcome to the 700 Club for the first time, Prevention Magazine's Marlia Clark. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, thanks so much for having me. You know, when I was reading your book, I found it fascinating that what? I think 24 million people suffer around that. 24, close to 24 million people suffer from diabetes. Absolutely. But this is what's interesting. Six million of those don't even know they have it. They don't even know they yeah, have so it. Yeah, so how do you know? Well, you need to start talking to your doctor, yeah. and that's an important first step. What we're also surprised about at Prevention Magazine is how many people have prediabetes, mm. 50 million, and, the, and most of them don't even know it. So the way you find out is how do you feel? Do you feel a little lethargic, a little low? That could be an indication that your blood sugar is, is not doing what it should be doing. It's not staying steady all day long, giving you the energy you need. Well, let's talk about some more symptoms of prediabetes. Yeah. Other than the sluggishness or maybe you just don't feel as well, are there other symptoms? There are. There's a little weight gain, I have to say. Okay. Especially around the middle, that can. Okay. <laughs> I know that can be a little bit of a problem. The weight loss, the sluggishness, sometimes the not sleeping well, mm -hmm. that can also be a symptom of diabetes as well. And really, it's that the the idea that you just don't have energy throughout the day. Mm. That's often a big symptom for diabetes. Interesting. Now, this actually topic hits home close to home for you. Tell me about that. It does. Well, my mother, whom I love very much, is always a big baker, and she actually has prediabetes. Mm. And for my mother, food means she loves you. Yeah. Yes. And we would every, her Sunday brunch cannot be beat after church, and it would <laughs> involve a lot of uh, white flour and sugar and lots of muffins and coffee cake. Mm. And she's a Scottish baker, and, and I, I would never want her not to bake for me. But it was very, very difficult for her because she heard that she had prediabetes mm. and diabetes, and she thought, well, I, that's ridiculous. I need to eat what I love. Yeah. And, and what can I do about it? And that was really a lot of the impetus for this book because I just thought, well, that's not right. There has to be a way to fix this. And you fixed it. And we fixed it. And you we came did. up with some great points, four points that I want you to hit real quick before we give examples to those four points. Absolutely. Well, we have, what we put together, we, we went to the science mm -hmm. so that you don't have to think too much about the science Good. or my mother doesn't have to think too much about the science. And we came up with the fat fighting four, which mm -hmm. is four great nutrients that are in delicious foods mm -hmm. that if you eat them actually help you fight diabetes. Good. And it's calcium and vitamin D, gotcha. omega-3s, and fiber. And mm. those four things, we think about them and we put them in great food so you don't have to think too much about them. But vitamin D actually and calcium, calcium is in low-fat dairy products, okay. actually helps you lose weight. Amazingly oh. enough, it's amazing studies have been done on this. Really helps you lose weight and help, helps fat not stick to your cells. Yeah. And the vitamin D, all that really does is it helps calcium stay in your body. That's all, all mm. vitamin D really does. It helps that calcium stay with you. Yeah. So that's really important. And the omega-3s are great for you because they reduce inflammation. Mm -hmm. they, they help your cells um, not swell so that you're not so susceptible to heart disease, gotcha. which is a, also a symptom of diabetes, yeah. unfortunately. And also found in delicious foods like eggs and peanut butter, mm -hmm. great food, and fish, um, and fiber. And the great thing about fiber mm -hmm. is that fiber makes you feel full. Yeah. And that, because you need to feel like you've eaten something, like you've mm -hmm. eaten really good food, and mm -hmm. that's what fiber does for you. And it also cleans you out. It does Let's clean you out. Let's talk about the I gotta out. just say, it does clean you uh, out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to bring that up, but it well, absolutely <laughs> does. It's true. Okay, so you have some wonderful examples, but before we talk about the examples, we're gonna cook a little bit. We are just gonna do a little bit of breakfast. cooking. We are, and usually my mother does this for me, but, um, <laughs> Okay, yes. I'll do it for you today. <laughs> no, no, we, we definitely start with breakfast. And I know everyone has heard this before, but it's really important to, to mm -hmm. start the day with breakfast, especially if you have blood sugar issues. Mm. One of the big points on Detour is that you need to constantly be eating. Don't let yourself get hungry. Yeah. Because when you do that, your blood sugar is just going up and down, and that is going to cause you problems. Yeah. So breakfast. Okay. You really want to start with breakfast. All right. We start with a whole wheat English muffin. And honestly, this could be a switch for some people, but they really taste delicious. Sneaky way to get that fiber in there. Gotcha. 
And then I'm actually just going to put a little spinach. We have this great spinach. Girl, grab that stuff like oh, you just, do it at home. Just throw it on there. <laughs> yes, it's it so good. so polite. I know. I'm so dainty. I know. But, oh, um, I'm loving it. And that's try. another form of fiber, spinach. This is another form of yeah. fiber. And fiber also, um, spinach also has omega-3s in okay. it. It is incredibly good for you. Very fat-fighting. Um, then we're going to put a lovely fresh tomato on there. Uh -huh. And b these are great vegetables. You can honestly, you can put as much as you'd like on there. I'm just going to make sure it has a nice balance. So, so I'll just put pretty. one on so it looks eggs. pretty. Eggs. Eggs. Now, here's the key with eggs, though. You, you, you want to make sure what you have, like, omega-3 or the yes. bird cage or not caged. What kind well, of eggs do you want? We are fine if your chickens are inside, if your chickens are outside. Okay. <laughs> but they should be omega-3 enriched eggs gotcha. if you can get those. Those have the extra omega-3s. That's going to be a real fat-fighting bonus for Is that for mayonnaise? It. This is mayonnaise. I'm surprised. Well, there is actually omega-3 enriched mayonnaise. And it's delicious. It gives you that feeling mm -hmm. of, of fullness that you're eating something really good. You cannot eat the whole jar at once. Yeah, yeah. That's the key. But you put a nice nice dollop on top really pretty good size okay. I actually was a little skimpy there we can go a little more on top and, and that's really like great the seasonings. and we do like the seasonings and the thing for the seasoning is everything needs to taste good or you're not going to want to eat it that's and, so true and it just then it doesn't work at all and my mother always says presentation is the key so I like how you have your color palette Yours as well and, oh my mother be so happy to I hear know. that okay I let know. me put this in here and you tell the folks um once I yes. put it in, like how long? Well, you know what I you mean? can do this in the broiler, or you can do it just in. If you have a, a toaster oven, you can make it just as easily in there. Should just take two or three minutes, very quick, okay. and just keep an eye on it. I gotta tell you why I'm laughing because you can tell it's TV. I've got the hot holder here, and I'm sitting there holding the supposedly hot pan. <laughs> and I was like, hmm. what, bro? <laughs> do not do that at Don't home. Do, that do at have home. breakfast. Use our fat fighting for it, but do not do that. Exactly. That's great. All right, so this is our breakfast. Let's hit lunch and dinner real quick. Absolutely, because you want every meal to be great. This is a delicious um, Thai salad with peanut sauce. Ooh. Again, it's got the peanut butter in it, which is terrific fat fighting. And what's really good is you really feel like you've eaten something. Gotcha. So you don't feel hungry all the time. Gotcha. This is a delicious, um, great dinner idea, chipotle pork. Could not be easier. And the key ingredient for me here is actually fruit spread. Mm -hmm. You just take all fruit spread and rub it on. There's some other great ingredients, nice vegetable squash mm -hmm. in there. But you rub that on and you stick it in the oven and you don't have to think about it again. I have to ask you this. I always thought that pork was not the best meat for people to eat. So help me. Pork yeah. is actually a very lean meat. Okay. Um, it is terrific for you. What's great about it, too, especially as it's getting colder this time of yeah. year, again, you feel like you've really eaten something. I think a little bit is portion. Gotcha. Um, and we also tend to eat the ribs, and the ribs do tend to be a little bit fattier in the pork, <laughs> I will just say. Maybe that's um, why I like it. Yes, but uh, if you have a loin, it's a nice lean cut of okay. meat, and you cut some of that, and it really feels like you're having a real delicious big dinner, for, and that's a terrific meal for our family. Okay, now let's wrap this up, and the best way to wrap it up is with dessert slash yes. snacks. Yay, makes Yay. me happy. Let's talk about sugar. This is for my mom. This yeah. goes out to you. Um, we do, we talk about having um, snacks and desserts all the time, yeah. two a day, because mm -hmm. you've got to keep your blood sugar up. You have to. It's I important. Listen. I'm with you. And these are delicious peanut butter chocolate bars. Uh -huh. And the peanut butter, again, it's, it's enriched with omega-3s. Okay. We have whole wheat flour in there, which in a bar cookie, just... <laughs> I know they're so good. They're so good. They're great for a family or for just you. Um, <laughs> packed with chocolate chips. I love cookies like that. And again, the whole wheat flour gives fiber in there. But it doesn't taste healthy. I That's mean, not the, the bad thing. That is the but whole it point. Good. We don't want it to taste too healthy yeah. because then we're afraid no one will eat it. I'm going to eat that one. Oh, Ooh, good. That's I'm so mad glad. yummy. <laughs> Pat will like that too. Pat loves um, peanut butter. Oh, we'll send him over oh, some. Oh, I still will. I still will. Okay, listen, Marlea, th I'm supposed to thank you. Thank oh. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for Thanks coming so today. Thanks so much for having me. Listen, if you want more information on great diabetic friendly recipes, all you have to do is just check out Prevention Magazine's books. And I'm going to hold them up for you. Here we go. Yay. They are called The Diabetes Detour Diet and The Diabetes Detour Diet Cookbook. I did that so well. You did all those Ds. I know. I'm sorry if I spit on you if I, in the process. <laughs> but anyways, they're in bookstores nationwide. I just want to thank you so much again for being Great. here. And thank Pat, I'm, not only am I going to throw to you, but I'm going to bring you over one of these peanut butter bars. <laughs> Doesn't that look wonderful? Well, if you want the recipes for any of those meals you saw today, we have a free fact sheet for you. It's called Fat Fighting Diabetes Friendly Foods. And you can get it by logging on to CBN.com.